Girl shoes are so freaking expensive. The girl is on her Zoom. Ice vanilla caramel latte. Okay, medium ice caramel latte. You said you wanted vanilla as well? No, no, just the caramel is fine. Alrighty, anything else? That'll be it. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. I think these two are classic Oh. Yeah, so now I'm about to just drop Jewel off to her hair appointment. Um, I need to stop and get some gas, but I think I'll make it to I could stop over there. All right, y'all, we dropped Jewel off. Now I'm about to run to Walmart. I just need to pick up, re-up on some of like our hygiene stuff. We're about to go into Walmart first. Um, and pick up some hygiene products nothing too crazy just like our daily essentials um that i need to re-up for me and the girls they ran out of a couple of their stuff let's go in and get what we need and then once i get back to the house i'll do a big haul of what we got and show you guys what i got <music> We are back in the car and on the way home. One hundred and twenty-nine dollars later. I of course had to get some other stuff. I think our like total for the like self-care stuff was like a hundred dollars, um, which wasn't too bad because I feel like I got a lot um, of things that we needed, and I just re-upped on our like products. So yeah, I'll show you guys what I got. Most of it are repeats. I think I just got one thing that shaving cream that i'm trying out so i'll let you guys i'll let you guys know how i like it but yeah we'll talk about it when i get home let me go home um i need to start cleaning up and stuff and yeah oh i got some candles y'all don't sleep on walmart candles they smell good but we're gonna see how they burn i, I ran out of candles and i've just had my jackiana candle and i like y'all i had those candles for two years and have never burnt them but i did like this past week because i was out of all of my bath and body works but y'all i don't too much care like bath and body works is okay i think they're overpriced overhyped and they burn way too fast to be like 25 dollars full price like that's ridiculous so 
we're gonna try out these walmart candles that was only like 5.97 so um we're gonna try them out and i'll keep you guys updated but i'll show you guys everything that i got when we get back to the house All right, you guys, we're back home from the store, so I'm gonna show you what I bought, the hygiene stuff. Let me get the stuff that's not really like hygiene out the way, um, and then hop right into it. So I just picked up some laundry detergent. I used to use Purex. I tried some other kinds, so we like back on Purex because it's um, pretty good and cheap, so we're gonna try that one. And then I picked up Baby Girl another swaddle blanket. She really likes these, so I just grabbed another one um, so that she can have a backup whenever we're washing the main one that she got. I think that's everything that's not hygiene related. I just picked up some of the like candles. I had ran out of my Bath and Body Works candles, so I just needed like some simple candles just to make my house smell good. Um, this is the juicy watermelon one, um, and then I got the cozy comfort. I like both of them. Um, the cozy comfort is more like a like evening, winter time, like that warm scent. I like it though. I wouldn't say just winter because I'm going to burn it now, but it just gives you like that warmth home feel. And then the juicy watermelon, it just smells very like fruity. And I like to burn those like after I clean up or like during the day and just let it burn. I have started to burn the juicy watermelon, so I will say that they burn fast. But I mean, for $5, you really can't beat that or ask for more. Um, and I feel like the Bath & Body Works... I feel like Bath and Body Works candles burn very fast. So for like $5 compared to $25, I'll take these. Um, these. So yeah, definitely check them out if you haven't. They do the job. They get the job done and they smell good. Those are the two that I got um, and I like both of them. And then um, not really like hygiene for me, but um, Baby Girl has eczema prone skin. So I picked up some of this Aveeno eczema um, cleansing therapy the natural oatmeal um, eczema prone skin body wash so i will try that out on her um, however i did find another product that someone gifted us that um or that my husband had picked up that like cleared up her eczema so yeah i'll keep you guys updated if you're interested in that tune into the vlogs like my baby content vlogs but yeah just wanted to get that in there since i did pick it up when i was in walmart not necessarily a hygiene product for me um other stuff that i picked up i picked up some dial soap for the girls i like to use dial soap for myself as well as just like a base cleanse before i go in with any type of other soaps um so i picked some of that up for me and the girls and then as far as like my liquid soap i picked up the dove y'all seen in the store um this is in the coconut cocoa butter i typically stay to like the sensitive or the dark blue one um but i just wanted to step out of my comfort zone i don't get like scented soaps that often anymore but this one smells really good and i just wanted to try it out but so far so good um as far as lotion i picked up the eos um lotion that everyone is on i love you i got the fresh and cozy i will say you guys sometimes i just get tired of the like overpowering scents so i kind of just like haven't been using it as much or letting the girls get use it they love this stuff um uh, i don't know sometimes i just want to be grown and sexy and i feel like like the childish scents don't really do it for me um but i love how hydrated and moisturizing these are so i just picked up some of these um, alongside of that i also picked up the coco radiant um vaseline one i haven't tried their lotion i have used the like shower gel um that you put on after while you're in the shower and it's supposed to like moisturize you when you get out i love that stuff it does work i will say it is like very thick and slippery um and like make you feel oily after but i do like it and it is a part of the same line it has the same scent um but i like the lotion so far i have some of it on it just leaves like a natural not like a shimmer it just leaves like a natural glow to the skin i just really like this so far but yeah and it was very affordable i want to say like three or four dollars so definitely check it out i also just picked up some girl the girl some new toothpaste i think y'all would have seen that in the store and then i just picked up me some of the optic white colgate um i kind of switched between two paces um i just kind of whatever i'm feeling in that moment so this is the one i picked up this time i like this one 
uh, and then also some Listerine. I do like the TheraBreath that I showed you guys in the store. They didn't have any um, that I wanted. They had like the bigger bottles and I didn't need the big bottles. Um, so I just went with the good old faithful Listerine. It gets the job done. I like it. I think that it works very well. I will say um, it doesn't burn as much or this one burns more than the TheraBreath. Um, that's what I like about that one. But good old faithful Listerine. Can't go wrong with it. Um, what else you guys and then I just picked up like some shaving cream this is the sole the sole sole I don't even know how to say it I opened it you guys because I already used one but yes this is the one that I use I like the like um, what is it called like the blade I feel like this gives me the cleanest shave without like nicking or cutting me um, because it has those like protections on the side so it really is good i like these i've used them before and i'll just continue to use them um yeah and i feel like it doesn't leave me with like razor bumps or anything like that so definitely check them out they are a little pricey i would say for razors but hey the cost you pay the cost you pay i'll pay that so that i don't have any razor bumps or i don't have any cuts or anything so this is the one that i like to use and alongside of that i just picked up some of this this is new i've never used this before this is the cremo shave cream and coconut mango i think it has a great smell to it um yeah i like the smell i will say i have used it since recording or since getting the stuff um it has like a nice it's not too thick i use the eos um like the one a part of this line i've used their shaving gel and i like it i will say it is on the thicker side so if you don't like thicker shaving cream um you may not like that one but this one is good i will say it is more pricey i want to say this one was seven or eight dollars compared to like the three or four dollars that the eos one was it is a bigger bottle but I don't know if I'll be rebuying it. It just didn't wow me. Like I will, I'm gonna use it. Um, it's not bad, but it's not like a wow product that I'll just be raving about. So um, yeah, it smells good. It says fight nicks, cuts, razor burn. And I will say like um, after the shave, I didn't have any of that, you know, and not that I always have that, but you know, every once in a while I will get a razor bump or a cut on my leg or something, but with this one, I haven't. So maybe it is good. I'll have to keep you guys updated. So this is a new product, um, that I had picked up when I was in Walmart. And then I just picked up some good old faithful blue magic hair growth. I was watching another YouTuber's video on hair. Um, and she was saying how this had helped her hair grow. So I just picked it up. It was really cheap uh, for me and the girls to use on our natural hair. You guys know that I'm on this journey to grow my hair back out. I had a pixie cut. I had a perm. Um, and so now I'm going back natural and letting my hair grow back out and transitioning. So yeah, hopefully this helps my hair grow and works for me and the girl's hair as well. And then lastly, I wanna say that's it that I have picked up this time, you guys. Um, I picked up some of these Noxzema wipes. Um, they are the anti-blemish pads. This is in the eucalyptus extract um, flavor or scent. Y'all, this stuff is strong, I will say. like. I think that it really is working. I have used it since I picked it up, um, uh, but it is very strong. Like when I rub under my nose, y'all, it like it, it it's giving Vicks. It's giving Vicks, okay? <laughs> but if you don't mind that, I think that it works really well. I break out like right in this area on my chin for whatever reason. Um, and it has like cleared up those pimples and, and I think help prevent any new pimples from um, breaking or coming up. So I've been using this daily since I got it the other day. So yeah, I like it. I've seen makeup artists use it on their clients. I will say I will, I will check to see if they have like a, um, what is it called? Like a regular one. I don't necessarily think that I would use like this eucalyptus extract one on clients because I think it could look, be a little overpowering and scare clients, you know. People be real particular about their face, about what you put on their face when you're doing their makeup. So I would use like the regular one for clients, but 
I do like it for me. Um, it is just like a little strong to the scent, but I think it's working. So yeah, but I want to say that is everything that I picked up in this video or in this haul. Um, definitely let me know if there's anything that you guys use down in the comment section. What was your favorite products? Is there anything on here new that you don't use that you are curious and will be picking up? Let me know in the comment section. And thank you so much, you guys, for watching this video. If you made it this far, what are you doing, sis? If you made it this far and you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing, sis? Definitely make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so we could grow the gang. Hey, y'all. We are hopping back in the vlog. I am up, y'all. I did my makeup today. I just had to reshoot um, my hygiene video, some pieces of it. So I want to go ahead and edit that stuff while baby girl is sleeping. Y'all, today is my last day. I'm starting to leave. I go back to work tomorrow. So yeah, I just want to get some content. I think I'm since I had my makeup done, um, if she stays asleep or after her next feed, I do want to go ahead and record my birth video um, so that I can get that out to you guys as well. I did say um, that I will let you guys know about my like birthing story. Um, wasn't nothing too crazy, but definitely tune, tune into that video if you're curious. I may, may go ahead and shoot it now before while she's still asleep. Um, I just got to like prep, do the behind the scenes. If you're a content creator, you know. I need to find like a spot. Um, I didn't really too much care for the last spot. Like it wasn't bad, um, but like a spot to actually shoot the video. Um, not in my room cause she's sleeping and I don't want to wake her up. I guess right here is like the best possible option. I just don't know. I want to be in front of the light. And y'all, if you just seen my hygiene, I definitely had the same outfit on and I'm going to have the same outfit on you guys. <laughs> So let me just set up, record the video for you guys, get it out to you guys. And yeah, if you see me in the same outfit, mind your business. It's the same day, literally just seconds ago. Your girl is on her Zoom. Your girl is working. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. And we on our Zoom. We're trying to get to our 500 subscribers. Okay? I think we like knocking on three. So let's go. Let's go. Let's hit 500 so we can hit 1,000 and get monetized. But yes, you guys, definitely stay tuned. And yeah, I just want to pop into the vlog since y'all are like the behind the scenes. Y'all the behind the scenes of it. I need to start editing the vlog, get these videos out to you. Um, but yeah, let's set up. Try to do this birth video real quick if she stays asleep. She was making a little bit of noise, so I'm hoping she stays asleep. Give me 15. Give me 30 minutes, mama. Good morning. Say happy Sunday to the vlog. We are all up this morning, y'all. Getting ready to go to church as a family. For the first time. So with baby Kalia. With baby Kalia. Hey, y'all. We made it to church. We are getting ready to walk in to the church. I need to find my lip gloss. All right, you guys, we are going to church and then we'll probably go to Jalen's um, football game after. So I will see you guys after. Hey, y'all, we are out of church now. Thank you. We are out of church now. Now we are going to Daylon's game. Um, he, I think it's their last like seven on seven football game. So yeah, I'm about to change into like a different dress so I could get out of my church clothes and then go out there. It looks like it's going to rain. So hopefully the rain holds off and we actually see um, one of his games. And yeah, I'll try to take my camera out there and record for you guys. If not, I'll record on my phone. But yeah, so church was really good. I'm glad we was able to get up and go. I didn't expect the, the pastor to like shout us out and shout our baby out, but he did. So that was pretty cool. But, um, yeah, so let me change and then get out there and then I will chat with y'all later. They're playing, but I don't know what the score is or how to even tell score y'all, so. Yeah, y'all, we probably leave after this. Ooh, my face is so old. We probably leave after this first game and go home. Um, Do you think they're going to go in overtime? 
I don't even know if they're winning this game. I don't even know. Hey y'all, happy Monday. It is Monday morning. This is my last week, you guys, before I go back to work in a few days. But y'all, I'm just about to do my devotional that my friend Janice got me. I'm so excited. I read the, um, what is it called? Like the message from the author. Um, I read that and now I'm going to start the first day of devotional. It is the 100 days of believing a bigger uh we did end up going to church yesterday church was so good you guys the message was just like so on point um and just like keeping the faith like i just needed to get the word in and like i think i mentioned um the pastor had like um asked us to stand and like shouted us out so he like shouted out the new baby and just introduced her to like the entire congregation I was not expecting that like y'all to stand up I'm so shy <laughs> I am so shy in real life like I'm shy and then it was also like a shout out to all the May wedding anniversary and like yeah our wedding anniversary is our two year wedding anniversary is on May 15th so just a good day overall. Alex um, usually works on Sundays but was able to be off yesterday so it was just good like to for us all to be in church. Y'all don't mind my braids child. I ain't even gonna show you the back because they kind of short but my hair is growing honestly my hair is really growing and like to keep it out of my face and up I just really um I asked the stylist to throw some braids in so I could throw a wig on top and just be somewhat presentable going back to work until I get some more braids. But yeah, yeah. Nonetheless, um, we're about to do this devotional. Baby girl is sleeping. Um, we probably run to Target. I need to pick up a new diaper bag. That's it, you guys. That is it for the day. Just kind of chilling, taking it easy. Like I said, getting ready back for work. I need to start picking out my clothes. Um, I probably won't go into in the office until Thursday though, um, since Alex will be home those days, um, but start kind of just getting back in the swing of things because this is truly an adjustment for myself, baby girl, and yeah, but let me do the devotional and then I'll talk to y'all later. <music> to like write on my stuff i have to really like get into the devotional hey y'all i'm out of target now so i just picked up baby girl a new diaper bag this is a diaper bag it was very pricey y'all this bag is like 70 dollars but it's pretty big and i think she'll have it for a while and it's pretty good quality um so she should have it for a while but yeah this is what i picked up from target we had got one gifted to us but it had ripped like when you stuff it it ripped so hopefully this one lasts us a pretty good time so yeah but um need to go to heb pick up some stuff for the kids like snacks and stuff and then um go back home i was i put makeup on to do like my passport picture and send it off i may still try to one by walgreens and hey y'all so i'm leaving the grocery store we are on our way home y'all groceries are so freaking expensive i just spent 70 dollars on god knows what god knows what i had to get some like dinner stuff and then also like kids stuff for the kids to take their lunch but yeah we're headed home um the kids have track practice so they have practice at six 
it is already two o'clock the day goes by so fast so i'm probably about to just head home put the groceries up baby girl sleeping um y'all that baby bijorn carrier is a life saver i take it with us everywhere get you one like full price it's a hundred dollars but i've i've used it enough um and she loves that thing even we use it in the house she falls asleep like almost immediately in there but she's so content because she's like you know able to be um close to me when she's in there so yeah i love it um it is the baby bijorn one i'm sure they have other carriers invest in a carrier but whatever you do invest in a carrier i like the baby bijorn one because it's comfortable to me it's easy you know to maneuver it's and i was able to do all my grocery shopping somebody in there was trying to push a duna stroller in the grocery cart stroller and baby she was struggling she had her husband with her but i guess he had walked off or something and she was trying to push it up to the register like looking a mess baby girl you look a mess <laughs> not a mess but baby was struggling mama was struggling trying to push the duna stroller and the shopping cart get you a carrier okay because i wouldn't even try to take my big stroller. like if i'm taking my big stroller in the store i'm gonna just put stuff in the bottom i'm not gonna push a stroller in a grocery cart that's impossible but yes invest in a carrier it's a lifesaver a game changer i had one with jewel but i really like the baby bajorn one um it's nice it is really nice but yeah anyways i think i've told y'all that plenty of times i think i told y'all in the last vlog that i really like that one but yeah let's go home put these groceries up it's starting to get hot y'all so i don't want my meat to spoil um alex wants me to make some fried chicken tonight so i think that's what we're gonna have for dinner and then yeah i'll probably talk to you guys if not like we're just gonna go to track practice i don't know if i'm gonna bring my camera um and then cook dinner i don't know if i don't see you guys today i'll see you guys tomorrow just kind of prepping and get it ready for the week um tomorrow my last day because wednesday i think i'm gonna log on from home and i actually have to be logged on you know I'm sitting at my computer all day. So yeah, this maternity leave have come to an end.